sticking points that people are having at the moment? Get my leg round. Getting out of the Yeah, getting in. Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, Jason and I again move in. And, and I think that's kind of the stuff I've seen as well. And it is a little bit of a, a, an awkward position, to be honest. It's one of these where it's probably not natural in anything we've ever done. It's We're using the body in a totally different way, which we've never use our body um, but there are a couple of key things which will help us with this so when i chop away and say i chop away a little bit too far okay so now his foot is behind my foot okay so this is a problem so if his foot's behind my foot then this is where i'm probably not going to go for this leg lock position okay this is where i'm going to go for my sweep okay he steps his foot forward slightly his foot's in line with my foot depending on leg length i've probably got a bit of a better chance to get into a leg lock position. His foot is way past my foot, but closer to me. So this way, this is where I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have a, I might have a few problems. So the heel and the foot in line with my foot, look, step back please sir, is the spot that we're after. This is where it's gonna help us get the leg lock. Okay, so foot on the hip. As I roll around, what I'm not trying to do, okay, is move J this way. But did you see how I move my foot down, uh, my hip down? So once I start going into my old man kick up, I'm kicking my butt so I kind of reverse trip and go down lower. So again, go back. So foot's in line with the butt, good opportunity here. Okay, you see I've got this leg exposed as well. If he goes, um, like, let's go your hips off for us, Jay. Okay, we have to bring a, a leg forward. So if he's square, the foot is in line with the butt, but it's a bit square, I might have to pull the leg as well. But the butt going behind when we start attacking is the important bit. So I'm old man kicking my butt down at this point. Because this, this is where it's going to be easy to get the foot on the hip. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we have to lift that hip up. Okay. So you shall kick myself down a little bit further. I've still got this leg controlling his ability to step forward. Leg goes round and my hip comes up. I'm not doing that. So I'm not turning mm. the knee. Okay. That's, that's okay if we're going to do heel hooks, unfortunately you're not allowed to do heel hooks, so I need to lift my hip up, so I'm pushing my knee on the outside, okay? Same thing, pops in, boom. okay? Foot past my butt, it's not in line with my butt, so I'm going to chop, boom, foot's in line with the butt now, okay? But as I start attacking, I move my hip down and around, and attach my hip to the to his knee. Okay, we're going to change his foot position in a second. But as soon as that leg come, uh, my hip comes up, I pinch my knees. Okay, at this side. Okay, second a bit more. Right, I have to chop because of the foot position. Foot's in line with the foot. Scoot bum down and attach your knee and kind of point both knees out. Okay not bringing this knee on the inside. Okay, that is absolutely an attack, but for now, because we we want to kind of take them down to the other side, we're going to attach our hip. Does that make sense? Okay. Give it a go. One, two, three.